Hello, I have recently received this email message here and of course it's not um, an email message inside an email program. I have copied it to some text editor to be able to delete some personal information here. But you can see it's from a company called SciSpace and they are, as everyone I think is doing right now at the moment, developing some AI tools. They give me some positive feedback about my Twitter feed, which is maybe not that amazing, uh, but okay. And um, I've posted something about AI Writer and they are launching something similar. Uh, to streamline research writing and to help students and they would like me to explore it and this is what I'm going to do in this video. So um, for this purpose I have already opened up ChatGPT maybe for comparison in my browser and um, we'll make my camera image a little smaller and we'll click on this link and go to their website so you can see it's the fastest research platform ever probably i have to sign up first and it's an all-in-one ai tool a one-stop shop maybe as you would call it for students and researchers and they already have some sample questions here how does climate change impact biodiversity and so the idea of this video is that i test this tool with the only topic that I really have a clue about, my own personal research topic, which is electromagnetic reverberation chambers or mode stereo chambers. If you have no clue what this is, there is a nice Wikipedia article about this. And there's also a picture from our chamber here in Magdeburg. Um, and because of this motorcycle, this picture is quite famous. And I've also given lots of talks and created lots of videos. I've written lots of research papers, um, given presentation and conferences and so on. Some of them you can find on my YouTube channel in some corresponding playlist about electromagnetic compatibility. So I would say I'm, I'm more or less an expert in this topic. Okay, so probably be, before we need to start, I have to sign up. So I will put some information, personal information here. Okay, and so there I am, um, my library, and I will ask the question. And um, so maybe we start with a simple question and then maybe we continue with a um, slightly more complicated question. Let's start with a question that somehow includes, I would say, the Wikipedia knowledge. Um, so we will ask what is a reverberation chamber and how and how can it be used for immunity tests and emission measurements in the scope very long question in the scope of electromagnetic compatibility ability Okay, so let's go for it. And let's see what we get. Uh, answers from top five papers. So, um, okay, it, it, even before I've read something, it asked me to go for the next step. Um, so, reverb chambers are specialized environments used for testing the EMC of devices by simulating real world electromagnetic fields. I would partially agree because it's not really real world. I mean, it's a highly, highly resonant environment with lots of reflections and a very small modal bandwidth. So um, you only accept for you live in a satellite enclosure or maybe in a ship with lots of metal around. It's not, not really real world, but it's maybe more real world than other test environments, but okay, they are particularly effective for immunity tests and emission measurements, providing a controlled setting to, okay, yeah, this is very general, this, this, such a sentence cannot be wrong. <laughs> okay, so they generate a uniform electromagnetic field. Mm, I would also partially disagree because in the statistical meaning, it's, it's uniform, but um, the field inside such a cavity resonator will be strongly non-uniform, strongly inhomogeneous. You will get a huge standing wave pattern. So crucial for assessing the immunity as outlined in some ISO standard. 
Yeah, maybe I would say there are more common standards to do this. I think this ISO standard is some automotive um, standard. Um, okay, but at least this reference here looks meaningful. I know this person, uh, this is something that is not hallucinated or that uh, something um, a large language model came up with. Okay, so the mode steer method allows for testing across the frequency range. So, and here I would say this is total bullshit or total nonsense because you, you can also do it for smaller frequencies. You can also do it for larger frequencies. I mean, it just depends on the size of the chamber and the uh, um, relation to the corresponding wavelengths of these frequencies. So this is not very helpful at all um, because you could think it won't work below and it won't work above, but it does. Um, yeah, accommodating various vehicle components. And this is also something it cannot be only used for vehicles. You can test any electronic devices also from aircraft, from household um, equipment, medical equipment, uh, other industrial parts and components so on. Okay, so uh, emission measurement, they can uh, for emission testing. Okay, okay, uh, reconstruct the electric field around the device. Mm, I'm not sure if this is really the right meaning. I mean, at the end, you would like to measure this field. You would not like to reconstruct the field. And a cylindrical vacuum vessel can be converted for, like, for testing electric thrusters. Maybe, but this would be a very, 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 very um, one of a thousand special applications in, um, in, in aeronautics, in maybe um, the rocket science industry, so to call it. I'm not sure. So this is nothing that I would, in a, <laughs> as an expert, would put in a in a three abstract summary of what reverb chambers are there. There, there is much more important stuff from my point of view. Um, okay, so if we read more in contrast, they provide a robust testing environment. This is what I would agree. Their effectiveness can be influenced by loading effects. Okay, this is also what I would agree from objects within the chamber, which will not may, they will alter the electromagnetic field distribution. The highlights the need for this highlights the need for careful consideration of chamber conditions during testing. This is true. I mean, this is what you do then uh, during the, the initial validation and EOT validation of such chamber. And here's a reference to the very same paper that we had above. This is some other standard, looks like a CISPR standard. Um, this is some IEEE paper and this is hmm, Journal of Electric Propulsion. Never heard of this. Um, okay. Okay. And here we have a list of all these papers. There are some more papers. Um, I know some persons that are mentioned here and no, no paper from me, but I've also not written very general basic papers about reverb chambers. Okay, so now I could add a next step. So um, to, to summarize, it's okay. Um, it's it's um, it's quite good ha half knowledge, I would say. It's something that is okay. It's not too wrong, maybe except for this and it, with the cylindrical vacuum vessels. But at the end, I would say it's also very generic and uh, probably not super helpful for understanding. Okay, so let's add some next step and uh, let's see what we can do. We can have a new search. We can upload any PDF and chat with this PDF. Okay, um, I will maybe try this later. Find concepts, create a notebook and chat with the top five papers. Okay, um, I would go for a new search. So. This is the answer to the generic question, a very general question. I think if you um, would go for the intro here, um, if you have no clue what the reverb chamber is, I think this introduction here is probably the better one. Um, 
in this short and concise way. So let's go with the next step and let's have a new search. And uh, now we can, now I will ask a very kind of very special question, maybe like this cylindrical vacuum vessels here. And this question is related to my personal research, what I have done in the past um, 15, 15 years. Um, almost 20 years and this is the question how can the uh, field to wire coupling in reverberation chambers be simulated and measured because this is what I've done. And so let's see what answers do we get and what I think as an expert on this topic, if this is um, useful or meaningful or not. Um, because at the end, I mean, all these large language models are just statistical tools. And okay, so now it's already a support chat. Hi Matthias, uh, to get started. Uh, rec recommend uploading a PDF, okay. Uh, maybe I will upload a PDF in a later video. But at first let's see what answer do we get here. So the um, filter wire coupling can be effectively simulated through a combination of advanced modeling techniques and experimental verification, okay. Um, of course, if you measure something, you will do it by experimental verification and Hmm. advanced modeling techniques can be each and everything. Um, so the following section here gives some key methodologies. And so for the simulation techniques, we have Sobol indices. To be honest, never really heard of this, never really used it. Um, it might be useful for field uniformity things in RCs. Um, but to measure or to simulate the coupling of such fields to transmission lines, to wires, it's definitely nothing that is helpful. Um, and this paper here is also has nothing to do with um, field to wire coupling. It's just a paper that includes the term reverb chamber. Okay. And customized dimensions with tailored dimensions evaluating performance such as field uniformity and quality factor, which are crucial in understanding field behaviors by specific setups. <laughs> I would also not agree. Um, not, it's, it's some random paper about reverb chambers, but has nothing to do with this topic of field to wire coupling or transmission line coupling. Okay, so. Uh, for the measurement approaches, uh, we have some another study by Key et al. Um, with field probes and VNA in validating results. Okay, maybe, but this seems also uh, seems to have nothing to do with transmission line measurements, but just with field probe field measurements. Uh, maybe comparing field probes with antenna measurements using a vector network analyzer. Okay, and then there's a reference to one of my papers. Okay, um, coupling dynamics hmm, and implications for EMC between leaky cables. Okay, so there, there, there are two more authors of this paper. I remember that this is a work that have been done together um, with a student that was also published as a master thesis. Mm, this is also probably not the best and prominent and um, most important paper about field to wire coupling. It's just one of a lot of papers and this in itself is also very, very special between b b because it deals with these leaky cables um, and not with general wires transmission lines, cables, cable harnesses, and so on. So in summary, the integration of simulation, uh, simulation techniques with experimental validation, um, yeah, okay. And however, the complexity of interactions among multiple design remains a challenge. And 
Okay, I've also never heard of Yaguchi and Aoyagi and of their papers. But this is also something to something that has nothing to do with field-to-wire coupling, but just um, to investigate field uniformity. So except for this half useful and half meaningful um, citation that this AI model here came up with, I would never ever agree that these are here the top five papers for this answer. Um, and I mean, going back to the question that we had before, um, I'm not sure where I can find it here. My library, my notebooks, maybe here. Um, okay, okay, no, this is a get started guide. Um, how can I find my, how can I find my original question? Let me go back to my home and papers edit today, papers edit this week. Okay, lots of, lots of papers that I don't care about. So I don't really find, I mean, here with ChatGPT, it's very simple to find your previous, um, to find your previous questions, but here, at the moment, I don't find it. But even for the initial question, I would not agree that this would be the top five papers um, to explain very basic and very general what electromagnetic reverberation chamber is, how it works, how it can be used. There are much better uh, review and summary papers for this. So my first conclusion here is this is not a helpful tool. It will not, um, as um, suggested, <laughs> it will, it, it's, it's maybe innovative, I'm not sure, but it will definitely not stream learn um, research about literature. Maybe it will help streamline research writing, but if you write something based on what you find here, it will also not be helpful at all. So um, in a second video, I might like to test what happens if you upload a PDF file, but at the moment, I would say this here is not helpful at all.